Alrighty, so here we are playing uh, the Dinosaur Jr. intro. Um, like I was talking about during the lesson, first just kind of go, there's this new thing I do with the key. You want to make sure that your process does not include, I'm not going to do this, but this. Just think of it as a new chord called X, uh, or whatever. Not, you know, but, it, but really it's a, it's a D pattern. Like we pointed out during the lesson, you know? So I'm going to be doing this. I'm going to be doing this. Those first two grips, um, where during the lesson we had some hints of like your finger, your ring finger flopping down and stuff. So yeah, the you know the just high note wise, that's just and then it's like um, yeah. So with our fingertip, we're uh, on our first finger. We're gonna have a sense of I'm playing the note B and just the note B, as though we were trying to fret it well, but kind of. You know, it, it's the easiest way to fret is just like flop it down haphazardly, and that's what we're doing. That's how you play an octave while we're at it. Is by, you know, if you've played an octave before, you've been doing. So right now you're doing what we're talking about, which is your whole situation is sandwiched up like this, versus just playing it like it's any other piece of music. Um, so for you, what this is going to be about is uh, on the very first chord, not letting yourself go all up high like this with your arm. That's what's making it difficult, as opposed to just putting your thumb over the top. You're going like this, which is what's making it feel like, man, that's all the way over there. Um, like what you're doing right now is exactly what I'm referring to. <laughs> so we need your arm down lower, okay, and then your elbow like that. You know, but, and the thing is, is like this is a, you're, when you go to this chord, it happens out of necessity. So we can also think backwards and just think in terms of like there's this and there's this without doing much of an arm juxtaposition change. And this is the same shit everybody does for the record. Um, but yeah, so and we're not so just my thumb is in just comfortable thumb over the top position. There's just a huge difference between thumb over the top and thumb over the top. Yeah. Or so so that I've, am I having the hanging yeah. my arm down? And that's, kind of this is what everybody thumb. does. Uh, is this I'm up too high thing? Yeah. And it's a product of the fact that when you first started playing, it was really hard to push down, so you had to do like uh, okay. But the other thing is, um, yeah. So and you've got your so you've got your arm here and your elbow pinned and this over here. I mean, that's what's making it feel like it's way over there and the notes are hard to reach. Uh, so probably the best bet is just to, like think of this as a new chord called X. You've never and being all off to the side and shit. Yeah. Just feel like like you know there's this chord and there's this chord. Even if, you know if you're at home starting with the second chord would probably you know, you know here's you. Yeah. And, you know, a moment ago, you were doing this just fine. So, yeah, a chord like the second one forces our thumb into classical position. It's impossible to play that chord grip. When, you know, we, or it's possible, but, uh, you know, something closer to classical position, we can't be like this and play yeah. it right. by definition. So, yeah, just try to make it, like, without that whole arm change that you just did. Okay. Just try to make it the, minim the, the most yeah. minimal okay. motion possible. And this is your first time thinking about this stuff, but the good news is this. Mm -hmm. But you have to consciously focus on it. So yeah, you can just be going, doing exactly what you are right now in your practice, just going over those two chord grips. Right. So there, we just kind of troubleshot you. So not this, not this, but just you know, I'm playing guitar, yeah. loosey goosey. Um, cool. So on this, and we get this. So there's this, and what we're going to do in our practice is just go, this exists, this exists, if you could not play right now, that would be awesome, uh, just because I'm oh, yeah. making a video in this one, and then we were going to go, and then there's going to be this, and this, and with that, you know, here we're thinking, it's your inclination to lead with your first finger, mm -hmm. the but we were playing like an F shape, like F in first position, when you first couldn't play it, it was tough to do this, we were going, no, 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 and we're doing that a lot of the time, and songs like this where we don't want to hear but then he does use that one sometimes as well so but it sounds to me like it's just not but either way he might be doing one or the other but the point is left hand wise we go I'm doing this thing I've never done before where I make an F shape and I'm not fretting with my ring finger it's right. just chilling at the ready and then I'm pushing down okay. so just you know spend a minute without even considering sliding just going I'm here and thinking about the full shape and then I push down I'm here and then I push down so yeah you know just this 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 because that's what's hard about that so okay. taking rhythm out and you don't have any trouble with the rhythm you've heard this many times and rhythm seems to be a strong part for it just haven't done this so yeah Then we get.
get to the verse where he's doing this. We're at any rate, we've got that. So that's like, like if you ever use the Google C chord, that's the part that we're using right now, like the under the bridge chord. Have you ever set out to learn, you know, not, not what you're currently doing? Yeah. You, you play C with the other three fingers. Okay. <laughs> Hold on, not like this. Your picky will be in the bass. Okay. You know, just kind of, there you go. That's actually a really common chord, and your middle finger needs to do something. Oh, well, like, uh, yeah, just picture a C. Okay, picture a C here and here. Yeah, there you go. Your middle finger needs to just here. go. Yeah, there you go. Cool. And this is a, a really common chord voice, um, but like, yeah. Either way, the point is, is that, uh, this D, the, just the bass note in it, it's the same thing, just without having to worry about the pinky note. Um, okay. yeah, that's what we're doing here. Yeah, cool. So, you know, three D, here's a D, here's a D, those are all the things. Um, cool, so there we are. That's what we're doing in this song. Uh, let's just go one one with him, and then one without him. Uh, just back and forth real quick. If I still have it open... I think I don't, which is fine. You've heard it a million times, but there we are. So we've got our. So here's one intro, one verse, and we'll be done with it. Yeah. So there was one intro, one verse. Awesome. Um, and then we'll check out the solo on a separate.